Hi, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay. I'm Chris. And we're the Fowlers. And we are staying at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort for the next eight days, eight nights? Yeah, eight nights. Eight nights, nine days. And we're gonna do a room tour and then we will follow this up um, with a resort tour. This is a massively huge resort here, so it's gonna be a long video, so y'all buckle up. All right, let's go in. We're in room 3174, which is a priority room here at Coronado Springs. Um, it's dark. It took us like 13 hours to get here today when it normally only takes us eight, nine. But this is our view. All right, let's go in. Okay, so it's a double queen room. Unlike, unlike the value resorts, there's no murky bed. The beds stay out. And if you missed it, we did stay at Disney's Art Up. No, we stayed at the Disney um, All Star Movies. All Star Movies Resort, and we'll link that video in the description box below, so you can watch it in case you missed it. I think it was last month. It was October. Yeah. It was October we stayed there. Okay, so you have these two nice queen size beds here. You do have little night lights that come up. Ooh, it's really bright. For reading, there's one on each side of both beds. Um, there's lots of space up underneath the beds for luggage storage. We haven't bought our luggage in yet because we like to have a nice empty clean room when we do these room tours. Um, it is three Cavalero themed. If you don't know what that is, it's the movie with Donald from like this. It's very old. <laughs> it's very, very old. But it's great. Um, we got this nice sitting chair here. Big window with a view of the hallway. And there's a lady coming down the hallway. It's not really a hallway. It's like a, a corridor. A out. breezeway. Okay, you have this giant desk. You got your ice bucket coffee cup, water cup, a Keurig machine in this room. The other, um, the value resorts have a regular coffee maker that you put like a, uh, it's like a tea bag. It's like a giant tea bag, not an actual Keurig K-cup. But it's got the 50th anniversary Jeffrey's K-cups. And there's tea as well. And there is creamer and sugar and all those things. Here you have your mini fridge, which this is really a drink cooler. And you got a nice leather deck chair, desk chair that has our, um, some of our camera bags in it. You have a nice little reading desk. There are two USB cord plugs here, two regular plugs here, and there's also an extra plug behind the Keurig, and that's also your light switch for the desk. And then, you know, the lamp side is there. There's no USB plugs in the lamp, but you also have another set of USB plugs and regular plugs there as well. You have six drawers here in the desk. There's not like a, a desk drawer there there. Okay, then you come over here. You have this tiny little drawer with the Bible, of course, you know, all hotel rooms have a Bible and your safe is here. And this is an, actually a pretty big safe. Compare, I think the, the value resort had a much smaller safe, wasn't it? Like the, mm -hmm. the drawer type safe. Yeah. And then we have more photos from the three Caballeros. You do have two USB cords, two USB plugs, and two regular plugs on both sides. Plus you know your phone. Okay, coming back around this way. <laughs> Oh, and you can control the lights over the bed from right here as well. What is that light? It's oh, the it's ceiling over the fan. bed. There's a light over the bed, and that's the little one. No. No, that's the ceiling fan. Oh! <laughs> okay, so the top one's the light for the ceiling fan, and the bottom one is the ceiling fan. It's got a ceiling fan. Yes. Wow, that's super exciting. There's a ceiling she fan. She just realized so there's a ceiling fan. 
I'm so excited about I bought my travel fan. So yeah. we might not need it. Okay. So how do we turn those lights okay, off? Okay, those go off with the um, Okay, they go off so with the not, actual bed. Yeah, it's not separate. They're the same light. The And then yeah. this one you don't need to you just pull it out and it turns on. Okay, you have your regular trash recycling full size mirror in case you need to see yourself. See your Mickey ears in action. I should have put my ears on for this video. I'm sorry guys. Okay, you have this Pretty big size closet with hangers. Um, my purse is already in here because why not? <laughs> um, there are extra pillows and blankets. There's a decent amount of hangers. I'm sure they give you more if you ask. There is a luggage tag. There's a steam iron in here. That it's a con air. Sorry, my purse is in the way. It's a con air steam iron. You have a luggage bench. Iron board. The iron board's in here. And I think that's just a cup of coal. There's nothing under there. And there's where you can send your laundry off if you want it to. Have them wash it. There are washing machine dryers here too. Um, you have a little cabinet here that you can store stuff in. Plus three nice size shelves. There's another shelf here with tissues. Extra tissues because there's tissues in here. More storage under the two sinks. I'm so excited about having two sinks. We don't even have two sinks at home. Um, the hair dryer is underneath this one. There's a decent amount of counter space here. So that's okay, you get a little vanity kit that contains beauty essentials and a shower cap. Let's see what's well, in the vanity kit. The vanity kit has like a nail file and Q-tips and like a little pad in it. For Ma face. Yeah. Mouthwash, body lotion, facial soap. You don't get this stuff in a value. I think it's just moderate and above. And then... You do have your little makeup mirror. Yeah. And it really like... One side's really magnifying. And it is. It lighted. is. Lighted. Yep. Okay, so this is the shower. Oh, you can close the sink part of the bathroom off from the bedroom if you want to. And. Go. Okay, so there is a door between a little set the section. The vanity the section. The vanity area and the toilet and shower area. So you push this little button and a handle comes out and you just push it and then you can, it does lock. Yeah. It does lock and the handle pushes in whenever you push it against the thing. Okay, then you have good old toilet, the worst toilet paper in the world. But we do have this beautiful shower. And you got your shampoo, conditioner, body wash on the wall. Make sure you check it when you first get in because we have had the below before. So just make sure that there's soap in them. But it's really good soap. And then there in the shower, there's a nice rainfall type shower head. And this one's removable. A hand wand. A hand wand. It's only a shower. There's no tub in this room. And then... You got a clothes hanger right there. And then you tighten that up on that side. Yeah. Well, it's, this is for hanging your um, like bathing suits and towels. Loosen it up. And mm -hmm. I'll tighten it up. It's not really getting tighter. What is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did, it did tighten up. Disney Resort has one of these. Just so you know, just most people don't realize what it's for or that it's even there. There's a shelf in the shower there, and it even has a little cubby. Which is nice. Alright, so that's that's it for our room tour here at Coronado Springs. 
Um, keep watching and we'll be adding a resort tour. Like I said, this place is huge. There's three sections of buildings. Just We're in the casitas. Did I say we were in casitas? I don't think we're so. We're in casitas building three. Which is on the waterfront. Mm -hmm. This is a um, so yeah. we're, kinda, we're supposed to be close to the front and stuff, but I don't know how close we are. Um, if, like us, if you come in to Casitas 3, you go to Casitas 1, and walk through the park arch. in front of it, and walk through the archway. That's how we Because it is behind 1 and 2. Okay. It's on the waterfront. Well, that's going to do it for the room part of this tour, so we'll Okay, so we woke up this morning and the floor here, I don't you can't really see it, it doesn't show up, but the floor is soaking wet. But the cabinets are dry. The sink didn't overflow, it's not wet up here. It's not wet in here. It's weird. So we called maintenance and they're supposed to be sending somebody and we'll see what happens. Hopefully they figure it out. It's like the water's coming from the floor. We just came back to our room and on Jason's bed they made a towel mickey and they used my ears. And on our bed they made a big bone with my blanket. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> 